Bangkok's main commercial district, which was the battleground in the final crackdown on the red shirt protesters, is heavily damaged. Losses from the political crisis is estimated at $15 billion. These restaurant owners share the sentiment of most businessmen who were affected by the recent violence. Very, very hurt. But this couple says they support what the government did in trying to restore normalcy in Thailand and that losing their restaurant is small compared to the big loss of their country. I'm afraid that everything must go on. I'm standing in front of a big shopping mall that was set ablaze yesterday and here we find some stuff. Here's a Thai with a price tag and also a burnt shirt also with a price tag, which shows that there was some looting that went on during the crackdown yesterday. And over here, we find some clappers, which were used by the red shirt protesters in their rallies. But now they're among the ruins. The city and some provinces are still on red alert because of pockets of aggression from disgruntled red shirt hardliners who set establishments on fire. In the midst of the turmoil, Pastor Morris Lednicki says the Thai people are being shaken, including their high regard for the King of Thailand. This upheaval we are believing will cause many people in Thailand to say the earthly sovereign cannot change this situation, but there is a God in heaven who is sovereign greater than any earthly power who can change this circumstance. The firemen are still putting out the fire here at the Central World Mall. It'll take several months before all this mess is cleaned up, but certainly a much longer period of time for the country to heal. Lucille Talusan, CBN News, Bangkok.